only thing that's going to be separating that high school and a warehouse is that fence. And it's one thing when we, when we read about it, when we talk about it, but to actually be here today and see just how close the warehouse is gonna be next to that high school is impactful. Hey everybody, I'm Liz Senna and I'm with the South Fontana Concerned Citizens Coalition. And today we are out here to literally show you guys what it is that we've been talking about for the last couple of months. The city is trying to rezone this proposed land. It is currently zoned commercial and the community has been mobilizing in order to come against the zone change. We've been infiltrated with nothing but warehouses. This high school is already boxed in. Why do we need another one right next to it? This location right here is prime for commercial. Why? Because the students won't have to cross the street. They can remain on the same side of the sidewalk of the street to, to, to enjoy some local eateries, some pizzas, some pressed juice bar areas, anything really. You consider the fact that there will be uh, games, football games, what a great opportunity to put some something to, to come and eat afterwards. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and yet we are continuing to fight against our mayor, our city council, our planning commission to say we don't want a warehouse. Hi guys, this is Eddie Lopez with the South Fontana Concerned Citizens Coalition, and I'm standing on the south east corner of Citrus and Slover and we're standing on the ground where a project is being proposed. The land currently is zoned commercial and they're looking at trying to get it rezoned into industrial so they can build a warehouse. So you got a, an idea or perspective from Liz's interview where she showed you exactly where the high school is positioned you know in proportionate to where the proposed uh, warehouse is going to be but i wanted to give you an idea of the traffic that uh, that exists here so this is probably one of the busiest intersections in south fontana it's coming right off the 10 freeway the citrus off ramp right here we get a ton of traffic and there's already uh, quite a few warehouses actually down here they're off camera you don't see them but they're literally just about a block away you can see them with eye within eye shot right here you've got traffic driving pretty fast down a major highway a major street going 45 miles an hour that's the speed limit so you know they're going at least 50. so you can imagine a truck with a heavy load coming through here and the dangers that it would cause the children who are going to be walking here or parents who are going to be picking them up and taking them to and from school our goal as the SFCCC is to try and educate our community and advocate on their behalf. We've seen enough of this proliferation of, of warehouses coming into here. And the problem that we have is the general plan, the, the SWIP or the Southwest Industrial Plan, is, furtherly, is further encroaching upon schools and residents. And this is a prime example where they're trying to rezone something into industrial to open the door for another warehouse. My name is Anna Mendoza. I've uh, lived in this neighborhood for the last 16 years. I've uh, had my kids here. They've grown, gone to school, uh, kindergarten to high school. Uh, in the last year and a half, we've seen warehouses come all around us. It's becoming very dangerous. Uh, the smog with the trucks is just uh, something that I've not seen before. I have my daughter that's 10 years old, nine years old, and her bus stop is right in one of the warehouses that they're trying to build. Very unsafe, I don't feel comfortable. Um, she wants to walk by herself to the, to the stop, something that I would not be able to allow her to do. I would have to take her to school myself because of, of where it's at. I oppose the, the warehouses. It's not what Fontana was. Uh, I hope that they reconsider and they stop with all these warehouses that they have around us. My name is Lori Zierden. Um, we moved into this neighborhood in 1995 as renters. We purchased in 2001. When we moved in, we moved out here because we wanted something quiet for our kids. Um, there was a vineyard at the end of the street, mushroom farm behind us. 
There were the vintage homes. Now they've torn all of that down. With the warehouses came the big trucks that everyone says they don't go down Oleander and that they're not allowed to go down Oleander. And daily, all day long, they're up and down Oleander. These homes were built in 1974 and many of the people who live on this street are the original owners. When you go to pull out onto Oleander, to leave this street and pull out onto Oleander, it's dangerous, especially in the mornings or in the afternoons between 4 and 5 p.m. with all of the big trucks that are coming through. This used to be a beautiful, quiet area. It is no longer beautiful, it is no longer quiet, and you're taking away more and more as we go. I oppose these warehouses, I oppose the trucks, I am, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. My name is Isabel Mendoza, I've been here 16 years. I'm an LBN, I'm a nurse, and I have a, a little girl who's disabled. And sometimes I have to get out in a rush to take my daughter to the hospital. We have elderly people here. We have all kinds of people in this community. My daughter's gonna start going to Harupa Hills next year and my niece, and she can't even cross the street by herself. Trucks are driving fast. Even though they have a, a no passing sign, they don't respect that. They still come on in. They don't care. We buy them, we pay our taxes like everybody else. Why are we getting surrounded by warehouses? Why aren't they building them on the other side of Montana, on the other side of the 10 freeway? We are part of your community. Treat us with respect that we need, that we deserve, because we don't need all these warehouses. I've been here 47 years, and as of this coming week, I'm meeting with a real estate lady. My house is going up for sale. I won't be remaining here. It's very difficult to leave, but what good is it for me? We all vote against it, they do it anyway. You know, it's gotten to the point, you know, why go to a meeting, why pick up the phone? If you try to call, you don't get an answer. There was a time when you had to call to put in your complaint because of the COVID, and never, never did you get a call back, nothing. So it's, it's really, it's sad to see this happen. I'm Miguel, I'm 13, and I've been living here since I was one, and I don't think it's really fair that they should be taking down our houses and, and instead putting warehouses.